My name is Oskar Oskarov I'm, and I am originally from the country of Azerbaijan which is a former Soviet Republic uh, and I currently live in the state of Maryland uh, in the town of Berwyn Heights. Well, I came to the United States at the age 15 as an exchange student. The US Congress had just passed a, a law called the Freedom Support Act. Uh, the primary purpose of that uh, law was to bring the kids who, uh, in the Soviet Union to America to have them experience uh, American lifestyle. Uh, I lived with an American family and my host mother, uh, her name was, uh, is Martha Fisher. Uh, she, uh, at the time, she was an elementary school teacher, music teacher, and she was also a church organist. Within a very short time, uh, uh, she became my second mother and I, I started calling her mom almost by the second week. I was 15 years old at the time, but it didn't take me very long before I realized that I wanted to make America my home. And I, and I, wanted, to, I wanted to live in this great country that afforded such great opportunities. It, it, was, it was a little difficult at first uh, to try to speak, try to understand uh, in, in what was obviously a foreign language. Within three, four months, I was really I felt fluent in English, I could express myself fluently, and I, more importantly, I could understand what people were saying. Well, coming to the United States, I always uh, thought that, my initial thought was that, of course, in the United States, people speak English, and that's, that's a language of America, and this is a language you gotta speak. Uh, but, but I was very surprised, actually, when I found out that America didn't have a state official language. What makes one an American? Uh, of course, this is our uh, allegiance to the Constitution, first and foremost, uh, um, but also the, the ability to communicate with one another in a, in a language in which this constitution was written. Uh, the Irish, the Italians, the Jews, the Eastern Europeans, the Poles, uh, and the people who came after, um, how were they able to assimilate? They consciously made a choice that as Americans, we're going to learn English, our children will speak English, they will be part of the society, they will be part of the American society, they will become Americans. And taking away that vehicle and saying that you don't really need to learn English uh, deprives them of the ability, of the opportunity to integrate uh, into the American nation, to become Americans. Again, we're not doing them any favors by, by telling them that you don't need to speak English. It's, it's clear that people who come to this country who have the ability to learn English uh, can have much better access to education and opportunities than the ones who don't. I, I, I feel very strongly that English should be the official language of the United States.